Today we celebrate for the sisters their foundation day. And uh, you might say that there was a soul in Mexico who did hear the Lord's voice and followed him. Uh, back in May 7, 1897, the sisters were founded uh, by Sister Maria Librada of the Sacred Heart of Jesus uh, in Guadalajara, Mexico. And uh, Sister began working in the vineyard of the Lord with her companions, uh, working with orphans and unwed mothers. That's where I'm sure we get where she had the devotion to Our Lady of Refuge because she gave refuge to orphans and of course then to also unwed mothers so that these children would be, and mothers would be taken care of and see that uh, both would not be um, taken advantage of, but also to see that the children would find good homes and that the unwed mothers would not be tempted to do something. Uh, although I'm sure in those days, mostly the, the in, uh, understanding was to give children up for adoption. But even today, we can see that this is still another apostolate that should and is necessary. Uh, for mothers who have conceived out of wedlock. It's very important ministry. And Our Lady, of, of course, is concerned with the least of her children and those who are most in need. And um, so Mother Librada started with this apostolate of attending to these, uh, the least brothers and sisters. Later on, the sisters got involved in education and hospitals. I'm not sure when Mother Librada passed away. It would have been, of course, in the last century. Um, but uh, she is uh, now venerable and um, hopefully someday soon blessed. So in your prayers, if you want to pray to Mother Maria Librada, Venerable M Maria Librada of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, uh, pray especially today for uh, children and unwed mothers that they may truly receive the Christian help that they need uh, in our society today, which has become so uh, anti-life and anti-family. Uh, today we hear, you know, our Lord continues to, or in the first reading, the importance of of the Holy Spirit and uh, how the Holy Spirit worked in the early church with the controversy that came about because the Judaizers were trying to impose upon Gentiles the Jewish customs that they performed and that they carried out as Jews. But as I said yesterday, the, the other day, that was not uh, required of Gentiles and even not, no longer were the Jews required to do that. That was of the old covenant, things which were not to be carried on into the new. And it seems that in the early church at the Council of Jerusalem, they had to grapple with this question. And of course, the Holy Spirit inspired uh, St. Paul and to bring this to the attention of the apostles that it needed to be dealt with and brought it to Peter and Peter eventually um, spoke out as the head of the church that it was not required of the Jew of the Gentiles to carry out these practices because this was not uh, the Lord's will. We must uh, see that in every age, even from the very beginnings of the church, you know, um, the church has dealt with different uh, questions, controversies, and the Lord has sent us his Holy Spirit. As he said, you know, my sheep will hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. Well, one of the ways, the most important way that the Lord speaks to us is through his church that he has established. And the Holy Spirit is very active even today in the church. 
even as it was in 1897 when it inspired Mother Maria Librada to start the Sisters Franciscan Sisters of Our Lady of Refuge and uh, to do that important work. So the, uh, the Holy Spirit is also raising up souls today, souls who were given vocations at their baptism and then later on strengthened in confirmation. But they were to care. we all are given a mission when we are brought into this world. And to the degree that we listen to the Holy Spirit, that we listen to the workings of God's grace in our hearts and in our souls, we can be faithful to that mission. Let us today pray that uh, as there are so many needs again, as our Lord told us to pray to the Lord of the harvest, to send workers into his fields, to send workers into the vineyard, that um, many young men and women today will answer the call. Maybe, there, of course, I'm sure there are some young founders and foundresses out there in waiting who do not yet know that God has a plan, a mission for them. But obviously the Holy Spirit is working today to address many of the, all the problems that are conflicting and troubling souls. And he raises up young men and women to serve him in religious life, priesthood, to be ministers of his sacred mysteries, to be ministers of his grace, uh, both as priests and as religious, to be those workers in the vineyard. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.